Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 6, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. I actually do think that five hour energy shot is helping out. <laughs> Alright. Nah, that's not where I want to go. Okay. We've got some exploring to do still. The we're getting some stuff, but I feel like we're still we still have to be missing some stuff. We've got the site. We've got the sacred water. There's still got to be something at the beast style. We've got to be able to explore that Alexander now. Alexander pulls out his magic map. It doesn't make sense that that area is that little exploration in it. I mean, I guess Alexander it could, feels but... A strange pulling sensation. I just feel like I'm missing something there. Him. The path through the woods runs through a gated wall here. Two stone statues stand guard on the gate's lintels. To the north, the path continues on through a hedge of roses and a dainty gazebo. All right, let's save here and let's let's try and get our way past this. I think we're on 32 now or 31. Hey, 31. All right. Can we? No, no, no. Go back. If I go through that, no, 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 no. Okay, so I can't climb on the grass there. Can I go around? The stone archer would undoubtedly shoot Alexander long before he managed to climb up the wall to try that. Hmm. The stone archer would undoubtedly... Uh... Using that on the wall would not help anything. I was thinking of using it on myself. Maybe he just doesn't like me. The path, like destiny, cannot be altered. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Alexander decides to pass through the gate, preparing the shield just in case. Nice! The magic arrow completely shatters the shield. Good thing the arrow didn't hit Alexander. Awesome. All right. See, there's progression to be made. Alexander walks forward to step onto the gazebo. But the rose hedges on either side of the path, sensing an intruder's presence, reach out their vines and blend together. The path is blocked. Oh, yeah? I'll scythe it down. Teach you. Alexander wields the scythe, determined to get past the magical rose hedges. Die. <laughs> the leaves fly as Alexander tries to cut the branches faster than they can grow back together. <laughs> he sees light. <laughs> He's through. Okay, don't kill me. Center Beast Garden. My name is Alexander. I didn't mean to disturb your private garden. Well, I kind of no. did. And yet, Monsieur, you could hardly have accidentally broken through the three enchanted traps of the Isle of the Beast. Um, I, I suppose it is simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. <laughs> <laughs> You must be a prince, then. I know the nature of princes all too well. 
This face you see before you is hideous, is it not? It's not well, bad. For the face of a beast, it is really quite noble. Ha! I'm glad you like it, for you will soon own one just like it. I what? too was once a pretty prince, caring for nothing but adventuring and rescuing fair maidens. But I rankled one too many evil hags. One dark night, I was turned into this obscenity you see before you, warped in shape and trapped on this enchanted island over a hundred years ago. Oh. Surely there is a way off this island. Oh, surely. <laughs> you broke in, did you not? And yet think, where would I go clad so? eloquently as I am with this silk and this pelt. You see, my prison is also my sanctuary. You are the first to break through the barriers in lo these many years. That is, except for the druids who stole my heirloom coat of arms. If there's any way I can help... Hmm. Help? You? I'm afraid you don't understand. The enchanted barriers were a warning and protection for you more than for me. Your prize for forcing your way past them is to join me in this dire life. Oh. By the laws of this sorcery, you are doomed to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this garden is to be my slave, a slave as beastly as I am. You have only a few hours of humanity left. But that's not possible. There must be some way to break the enchantment. Spells always have a weakness somewhere. The enchantment you are under is tied to my own. Or oh, the sorceress left me a way out. But I'm afraid it was only her final bitter joke. You see, I need only find a maiden to join me here. To share my castle, my life, willingly. Take another look at me. You can't help but admire the hag's terrible cruelty and cunning. Beauty and the Beast, gotcha. I shall gotcha. try to find such a maid, for Cosima's sake. Truly? How determined of you. I personally would not waste my last few hours as a man on an impossible errand. However, you may do as you please. I give you this token. It's my family ring, and the only heirloom I have left. If perchance you should... If you think you have found a maid... He'll I shall sharp. give her this ring. Yes, she must accept it of her own free will. By doing so, she accepts me. Not that you shall find anyone, mind you. Your I actually think I already know short. somebody. Count the minutes on your fingers while your fingers you have, pretty prince. Your master will await you. Alright, let's save. And uh, we'll cut the video off then. I actually, uh, I think I already know who has to be. The gate has been firmly shut and latched. Beast doesn't seem to oh. welcome Alexander's company right now. Check it out. Falling water. Eh? Eh? That has to be it. Alright, so we got the falling water, we got the sacred water, now we just need salt water that's not... Excuse me, from the sea. Alright guys, I'm going to cut the video off here. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you tune in to the next one. Thanks for watching, folks.